Hello, I am Mathieu Rambo. I am going to present the paper Asymptotically Good Arithmetic Secret Sharing over Z modulo P to the LZ with strong multiplication and its application to efficient multiparty computation. The content of this paper is that we consider gadgets for information theoretically secure computation which were already known over finite fields, typically Z modulo PZ. And we construct them over the ring Z modulo P to the LZ, of which the most interesting case is P equal to the ring of machine integers. We construct them with the same parameters as so far known over finite fields. The gadget considered as our secret sharing with the strong multiplication, reverse multiplication friendly embeddings, which enable to amortize the cost of the simultaneous evaluation of the same circuit in parallel. And finally, batch verification of beaver multiplication triples. For this last gadget of independent interest, we also improve its communication complexity over finite fields. And therefore, as a particular case of our method, we recover directly the results of Polychroniadou and Song about information theoretically secure computation over the, the field Z modulo PZ. The main motivation for these in these gadgets are secure computation directly over the ring Z modulo PLZ. Namely, when we consider an arithmetic circuit expressed with multiplication and addition gates modulo P to the L, the question is what's the best protocol enabling to evaluate this circuit? There is an indirect approach consisting in emulating this circuit from a circuit over finite fields and then using known methods over finite fields. But here we are considering the we are considering protocols that are naturally expressed over the ring Z modulo PLZ, and we ask the question. How far can these protocols be efficient? The, the complexity of such protocols are naturally measured in terms of communication, the number of elements of the ring sent on the network. And for the computation complexity, it is measured in terms of additions and multiplications modulo P to the L. The answer to the question which comes as a corollary of our results, is that for a circuit naturally expressed over the ring, there exists a protocol naturally defined over the ring Z modulo PLZ, whose complexity is exactly the same as the, the complexity of the best known protocol over fields that computes the circuit modulo P. This is the best we could hope for. Let us define the gadgets in more detail. Recall that a secret sharing is a randomized transformation taking a secret to a vector of n shells and the number of players. The privacy threshold T guarantees that up to any T shells reveal no information on the secret, while the strong multiplication property states that starting from two vectors of shells of two secrets, consider the products component by component, the product share by share. Then from these products share by share, imagine that T of them are missing so that we have only n minus t products share by share. Strong multiplication guarantees that the product of the two secrets encoded by 
these vectors of shells is any way reconstructible from the n minus t remaining share by share products. The second gadget are reverse multiplication friendly embeddings. They consist in linear maps taking vectors of length k to elements of a Galois field extension of degree, say, m, such that when we they, they guarantee that to it is possible to compute the product of two input vectors component by component from the knowledge of the product of their images p of x time p of y the parameters of this gadget is the lower m the extension degree the better it is and the higher k the number of products computable the higher k the better it is finally the third gadget is the beaver multiplicative triples verification it was so far known as a protocol but we can formalize it as a gadget that takes as input many triples and each of these triples comes as a shared secret namely ai is a vector of n shells bi a vector of n shells ci a vector of n shells and this for i from one to two big n the number of multiplicative triples the linear map outputs takes all these vectors of shells and output a result which determines with high probability if the triples are multiplicative or not and in the process this reveals no information on half of the triples and therefore they are usable in a secure computation protocol the high the main technical task of the paper is to find codes with square of large distance let me define the terms and motivate this question for two vectors x and y we denote the star product as the vector of same length consisting of the products coordinate by coordinates of the two vectors a code is a vector space and when we consider a code of a, a ring we ask that it is freely generated it is a free module let k be the number of independent generators and uh, we define the square as the code in the same space generated by all the star products between elements of the code in particular a generating family consists in the in the basis vectors ei star ej for all ij in uh, the in the range uh, k and we can always assume i smaller than j so that this family of generators is of cardinality kk plus one over two the bad news is that actually a generic code has its square of dimension kk plus one over two namely generically it's the result in red there is no linear relation between this family of generators the star product of element of the basis why do we want to find codes with a small square and and thus a large distance because then this implies that the product of two secrets is reconstructible from a few products components by components and we call that uh, a vector of product component by component is none other than an element of the square of the code so this is the main motivating question and um, let us recall solutions for this program over finite fields the first example or read solomon code they consist in evaluation at endpoints of polynomials of degree up to k minus one therefore 
the, the square has small dimension, 2k minus 1, and thus big distance. The problem with with Solomon code is the, the size overhead, because the modulus p of the finite field, the cardinality needs to be higher than n, the length of the vectors, to have enough evaluation points. This problem is overcome by algebraic geometry codes, which enable codes of arbitrarily large length for fixed p prime number. Then the natural question is how to carry the, these constructions over rings. A, na a naive strategy that works very well for some properties is to start from a good code and then lift arbitrarily the coordinates of a generating family. And this produces a code over the ring modulo p to the l that has same dimension, same distance, and dual distance than the code below. Recall that dual distance is parameterizes the privacy threshold of a shared secret, a secret shared by a code word. But this strategy fails for the square of the code. Indeed, if we start from a, a code modulo p that has a small square, then when we arbitrarily lift a basis of the code as before, it is not guaranteed any, anymore that the square will be small. And actually, the square is typically large. We give some examples in the paper, but let me give the intuition. It's because a code with a small square, this means that there are many linear relations between the kk plus 1 over 2 generators. But this linear relations modulo p, there is no reason that they also hold modulo p to the L. This is the big problem. There is a solution to this problem for reed solomon codes. Namely, we just directly define the code above in, over the ring as the evaluation code of the polynomials of degree small, smaller than k defined over the ring. And this produces a code whose square is of the same dimension, 2k minus 1, as the, the square of classical reed solomon codes over fields. Now we ask the question, is it possible to do the same construction directly for algebraic geometry codes, which do not have the size overhead. And this is the main theorem of the paper. It states the existence of a lift modulo p to the L of AG codes that have the same distance, the same big, whose square has the same big distance. The proof is not necessary to understand the rest of the paper, but let me overview it. To start with, an AG code is built from a space of functions, which is L of D bar, which is a notation for um, a riemann rohr space. And technically, it's, it's a space of functions defined over an algebraic curve whose poles are of smaller order than the, the data of this, um, which is called the divisor, D bar. D bar lower bounds the, the poles of the functions considered. This space of functions is of dimension k. And this is the, the dimension of the evaluation code. So the, the code is defined as evaluation at endpoints of this vector space of functions. So it is very similar to Reed Solomon codes. Then how can we lift this material modulo p to the L? A celebrated result in algebraic geometry states that it is possible to lift the curve x along with the divisor and the points. Now, we can define a space of function associated to the lifted divisor. And from this, recent results of Judy Walker 
guarantee that the, the space of functions above is actually of same dimension. It subjects modulo p to the space of functions below. Moreover, the results of Jody Walker guarantee that the evaluations at the, the points above of the space, the space of functions above is injective and th this map of evaluation above it subjects modulo p to the map of evaluation below. The consequence is that the image of the evaluation map above is a code which is a lift of the code below, a free module of same dimension. And therefore, by the previous results, it has same dimension and distance. This miracle, we can reproduce it not for the divisor d, but this time for the divisor 2d. And indeed, the square of the code belongs to the evaluation code of the divisor 2d for the same reason as for Reed Solomon code. The square of a Reed Solomon is, um, corresponds to evaluations of polynomial of degree 2k. Here it's, it's the, the same, um, it's the, the similarity. And therefore, the square is small. It has a large distance because we have this inclusion of codes. This was the existence theorem. The good news is that we can directly compute a lift of AG codes in L steps. Each step is, takes as input a code modulo P to the L and outputs a code modulo p to the l plus one with the square of same dimension. The technique is classical. I am going to recall it. It is called Hansel lifting. And this theorem, which is actually hard to prove, it is proven only in the long version of the paper, guarantees that this Hansel lifting always returns a solution, a code modulo p l plus one with a square of same small dimension. The method consists in considering all the generators of the square, the ei star ej, and expressing them on a, a basis of the square, a basis b of small cardinality because the square is by, the, by hypothesis small. Then when we write this decomposition modulo p to the L plus one by lifting arbitrarily the basis vectors, there appears an error term. The equality is not anymore true. As we said before, there is no reason why linear relations modulo p to the L would still hold modulo p to the L plus one. So our goal is to search lifts of the basis vectors, e nu i and coefficients lambda nu modulo p l plus one, such that the previous linear relation also holds modulo p l plus one. To find them without loss of generality, we can express them as arbitrarily lifts of the previous basis modulo PL, so lift modulo PL plus one, plus a corrective term of the form PL times a vector FI. Same thing for the coefficients, which we can always look for in the form of an arbitrary lift of lambda plus a corrective term. Then we inject this form into the previous system and after a miracle, which is a simplification, we can cancel out from the system the, the equality from which we started. So after canceling this uh, equality, we obtain a system of, of the form and equality, um, a list of equalities, which are all multiples of modulo p to the L. And so we can divide everything by p to the L and obtain a linear system over the finite field, Z modulo PZ.
and the unknown are exactly the corrective terms that we are looking for. This concludes the theorem. Thank you very much for your attention. And don't forget that these explicit computations are possible because we have tools for computing the AG codes over field, the starting points. And it, it is an active field of research to make these uh, algorithms more efficient.